I have survived 2,000 days in hardcore Minecraft while only sleeping 63 times. But one mistake, one death, and I will lose everything that I have built in this world. Before we get into the video, I want to give a shout out to Filza for inspiring me to see hardcore as a creative challenge and to Luke the Notable for creating a platform on YouTube for videos like this. You are about to see my 650 plus hour journey in hardcore Minecraft. Please do consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. It's free and you can always take it back. The story starts at the very beginning with nothing but a dream to defeat the Ender Dragon and get our hands on an Elytra. I would like to take a moment of silence to remember my first great horse, Daddy. I will never forget his final scream. That must have been the dumbest thing I've ever done in a Minecraft world. And I'm so lucky to have survived it. After 55 days, I was ready to face the Ender Dragon for the fifth time ever and for the first time in this world. This fight is one of the scariest things that I have ever done in this world. But with the Ender Dragon defeated, there was only one thing left on our list before we could start the first project. We had to go deeper into the end and find an Elytra.
100 days into the world, I had secured an ocean monument as my new home. And it was time to prepare for the guardian farm that I had wanted since the very first day. It was time to dig down to bedrock under my new ocean base. But when I tried to suffocate the wither, I accidentally set it free on my end realm. So I found myself in a wither fight for the first time ever. But it was on a hardcore world. I went out of there as fast as I could, gathered a bunch of gas tears for regeneration and made my way back for round two. As scared as I was of getting Enderman aggro, I tried fighting the Wither with a pumpkin hat on. But I just couldn't manage to get the hits in. So I decided I had to put on my diamond helmet and go in again, all or nothing. I had to be prepared to lose the world in order to save it. Even though I spammed my axe like the terrified Minecraft rookie that I was, I made it out alive. It was time to mine down to bedrock and then clear five more ocean monuments to get all the sponges we needed to clear the 750,000 water sources that were occupying the space where I wanted to put my base.
After two in-game years had passed, I had a beautiful place to call home. The heart of the sea, the beating pulse of the ocean, and the engine room to my entire series. But it was time to make our way back to the end and make this world truly mine. With more than 200 hours of playing in this world, I had gotten a lot better at the game. But the confidence that came with it very nearly met my downfall. In fight number 17 against the Ender Dragon, I did manage to best her 19 times in a row though, unlocking all the end gateways, so I could finally call this place mine.
The many hours of building at the base were starting to show, but one thing was missing. I had no access to new beacons, and that needed to be addressed. So it was time to go to a place that was still very scary to me, the Nether, and build a fortress farm. With the 1000 day mark within reach, the heart of the sea started to look more and more like how I had envisioned it. But I felt ready to move on to the next project. I had a bigger idea in mind and I wanted to get there. So it was time to hit the gas.
400 more days were needed to complete the heart of the sea. But finally, it was time to move on to Looneyville. The city that will forever spell out the name of this series. On day 1750, we finished the Hall of a Thousand Ghosts. It was 1000 days ago that I slept for the very last time in this world. And I reckon we won't ever do it again. Less time for sleeping, more time for building. And the building was getting harder as I had to puzzle and figure out how to always have blue blocks in the right place so we never mess with the shape of the letters on the map. I was very focused on the construction of Looneyville when all of a sudden I realized how close 2000 days was. And I decided I can still get all the achievements in the game if I just rush it. So I started a race against the clock to get all the achievements before the 2000 day. And it almost got me killed.
day 2000. How did we get here is the only achievement that I didn't manage to get. I got all the others. And what I also have is an incredible world. I've grown so attached to this place. I have a museum where I keep track of everything. 400 mob hats collected in thunderstorms. 63 nights where I slept and then 1937 where I didn't. A dragon hat to celebrate 20 victories against the other dragon. And a city that I'm so excited to work on because I'm just completely in love with this concept. I'm so, so happy with everything here. And it is a crazy thought that it can be gone in any one moment. One time, one mistake, one situation where you're not prepared enough. And all of this is gone. But that is also the thing that makes it incredibly exciting to play a world like this. If you've never played hardcore, I would recommend it so strongly. For me, this has made the game so much more special than it already is. My adventure is far from over. And it would be my pleasure if you would tag along for the rest of it. If you're still here, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and tag along for the loony adventure.